All right, so William, he is a unit. I've been very adamant that people pull and then dupe out and obviously use in PvP. He is by far one of the top five units in the game easily, right? And he's a day one unit. It's insane to think about. You could get him for free. You could dupe him out for free. You could get him for free this season, dupe him out for free. And it's going to be very, very good, right? Um, it's time to make a build video. A lot of people have been asking for this one. So we are going to be doing this. I do enjoy William a lot, okay? I've had my ups and downs, okay? We started off at a strong point with William. And then over time, I was like, eh. But I'm like, okay, this guy is crazy. Because of his high speed and his good combo, it works out very well to use with DPSs. Okay, that is the main thing. But with any DPSs, even Mario Leona. Okay, Mario Leona is very is crazy with this William because she has an AOE combo. This William just enables a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead, explain his beautiful kit and get into it. Okay, because of his high speed of 126, he is going to be cooking. Okay, now I have 129 because I have a plus three speed on him. Because yeah, I'm a whale. Okay, I understand. Let's get into it. So... Skill 1 is just a chance to stun, 40%. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, definitely it could end up helping you a lot of the times. This 40% chance to stun, you know, it's there, right? It is there. Um, now, the skill 2 is where it gets kind of crazy, where it's going to be applying a level 4 attack increase, which is not, like, too insane because the meta is more magic. But what does make it insane is that it increases the speed of the person you're buffing by 65%. And also, you have a 100% chance to grant an ally a 15%, uh, 20, let me, yo, I should probably get this up, a 20% mobility buff when they are below 50% mobility. So even if they're at like 45, they're getting up to 65, increasing their speed, which also means they're going to be getting up in the turn order much quicker. And this proves to be insane, okay? Insane, right? Even the attack, you just got to look, right? Julius still has... 4k attack so it's still gonna be a like mini attack buff nothing crazy but it's still gonna be there and of course if you are using attack units this becomes the best skill to buff in the game right now his ultimate is also very toxic where it's gonna be applying level or four to five level uh three 34 damage reduction for two turns plus counterattack to the person with the highest all attack and this counterattack actually is quite good okay um you will see a lot of the times where it will come into play and I mean, hey, it's good, right? Then the damage reduction is nice, especially because you're able to stack it with people like Ghosh who have it called reduce damage taken. And remember, you are able to stack damage reduction as long as the title is different. So this is reduce damage taken and this is fortify level three. You cannot stack fortify level two and level three. You can only stack one fortify then other reduced damage taken. So yes, you're able to get up there. And then when Charlotte comes out, you're able to stack both of those two. If there is a Black Austin nuking team, that's how you could kind of approach it if you want to, right? Now, Going on, this is the big part of his kit. You might be like, why? Now, you have to take two things into consideration. I'm sorry, I hit the mic, I don't know. Sorry about that. So he's at 126 speed, goes up to 129 if you have the plus three, but you know, from 126 to 129. And at max dupe, by the way, at max dupe, he gets to 126, which you could get for free. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that in the passive section. But the big thing is that he's applying 40% defense penetration to him and the partner mage. So he is allowing them to penetrate through 40% of defense. And then someone like Julius on their combo is getting 50% increased damage dealt if there is a buff on them. And it's doing 85% attack, okay? So all of that combined, you're basically able to get a free kill because you got to consider William is usually going to be the first one attacking. He's going to get, he's going to penetrate through defense. Then if you're with a DPS like Julius or in the future like Mario Leona, they're doing a lot of damage and they're getting, a, they're getting that kill, right? So that's the way it goes. Usually you're going to try and pop and it's really good because of his high speed. He's always going to be first. The only unit that's as quick as him is Charlotte. Season four, uh, season three, season three on global, season three Charlotte. And a lot of people didn't exactly go for the max dupe and are like using her as much as William. So William is going to be looking very good now and in the future. And then even further than that with Noel, you can have that 40% defense pen and then dupe two, you get the 30% increased damage taken. So all of that kind of coincides together for, to make his skills very, very good. Where is William? I kind of lost him. Okay. So now that I finished explaining his skills in relation to his high speed stats, hope that makes sense, right? Now let's go into his passives. So this is his, sorry, this is his unique passive, his LR passive, where when he uses his ult, he gets an extra 5% fortified to all allies for one turn. So it does end up putting it to 39% damage reduction, which, you know, is pretty good. It's, I mean, already 34 is good. Getting that extra 5% for the first turn does work out quite well, right? Does work out. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but 5% is 5%. Now, this one is basically, when you take damage, you have a chance to increase your mobility, which does actually, I mean, it could come into play very well, okay? If you're trying to get multiple turns, and you somehow like get hit like three times in a row, that's almost, you can have a chance of it at a 30% mobility increase. It could work well. Now, the main part though of it is the stats, okay? No matter what, it doesn't matter anything else, but getting six speed is the main part, which is why you should dupe them out. Now, how do you dupe them out for free? Let's talk about it very simply. I'm going to mention it and we're going to just go into it. Basically, every world level, could be well the world could be leveled up mainly by doing patrol okay by doing the patrol stages that you see right here now if you do it enough times you're going to level it up to level four at world level four you're able to choose a dupe of a base mage and william is there so if you do five worlds especially with the bonuses of everything where we have like bond and all that stuff um very soon right uh it's basically how i mentioned it before like almost a week ago uh, over a week ago so i do recommend people getting all their worlds to level four and then you're going to be able over time to get william to do five and even at this there's a free ssr selector if you don't have william so i do recommend in the event arena coming up i do recommend using that to actually uh do that now let's go into the skill pages on pride win now then, the best skill page, in my opinion, is Sally's because when he uses the skill too, he will get the increased all attack, right? And this could go up to 20%. So I do think this is actually quite important to actually use because you put the skill to, you get the increased attack, then the all attack, then the speed. So it's actually going to start stacking up. And once you get this skill page duped out over time, right, it's going to be 20% increased all attack, which is actually a quite like a um, sizable buff. Now, this one is going to heal when you use the skill too, which could end up being kind of good in some scenarios scenarios obviously not all scenarios but let's say they're kind of low that six percent um is not going to be horrible now it also does give a uh, stun block um for one turn so this is another part that you might want to use it for now the one thing with this is that it's only for one turn and when you consider that they're speeding up the unit right you putting the stun block isn't really going to have an effect if the unit you're speeding up is attacking right after right so it's only for one turn if it was two this would have been a lot better but it is what it is now i put this one not voltoses because usually i'm recommending using the combo and not the ultimate so that's like the main thing but you could also use voltoses if you do plan on just going for the double damage reduction and you could most definitely right most definitely use the ultimate because it does give the guaranteed stamina but this one too they they both work right they do both work um now this one and this one if you want to just survive a bit more I would recommend Moonlight over the HP because of the fact that you're able to buff defense and not buff HP. So that, that's essentially how it works. Um, so yeah, I would recommend using the defense one over the HP. And those are the skill pages I would recommend. It's honestly like kind of few. It's just there's not really much to use that's really good, right? You could use anything technically, right? But why would you use a penetration increase on a supporter, right? And not all of these are exactly like too good. So I would say... Like, for now, that's basically it. Um, hopefully, in the future, there's more. But that's kind of what I would um, recommend for that. Now, this is the probably most optimal talent build, I would say. Um, being able to spam the skill two more, which is going to be this one right here, is probably going to be the best. And it's going to be with the block or the damage resistance, right? Then here you get defense plus when you fall under 35, you're going to get the debuff immunity, which, I mean, hey, especially because it, it works in tangent with um, the... Uh, the passive, which gives you mobility increase when you're attacked. Um, th this is going to work well where you, you increase your mobility. If you get lucky, 50% chance. And then you have, if you fall under the 35, you have a, you get the debuff immunity. So going to work pretty well together. And then here I just put these two because that's usually when you don't know what to put. I just usually, I, these are the ones I usually put. They're the most universal because of the 5% increased damage. Now, there are other ways you could build this one, but... I would say this is probably the best way. Now, of course, here you do put speed for sure if you're able, plus two speed even. And here you're going to put, I guess, attack if you really want. Then here you would put defense for sure. Now, we could go into the uh, gear, which I don't think I have any on him, but it's it's pretty like simple, right? This, like you just, you have speed. Um, so yeah, you want four speed because you obviously want to be as quick as you can because obviously it's like illogical if you're not as quick as you can be with him because you do want to attack first, right? So that is the main thing with William, the GOAT, right? Um, so yeah, that's essentially it. Um, as for the substats, I would say going for defense, HP, crit res are like the three main ones. I don't really see you going for many others. If you want to go for the damage res, sure, I, not a horrible thing. Um, out of everything, for sure, you want to build up your defense the most if you can, because as I said before, that's the one you could buff, right? Through season 
2, Season 2 Charmy, Black Asta, Rodas, Mimosa, so stuff like that. Now, as for the accessories, going for the... Oh, I have one of these? Damn, okay. So going for defense, defense HP is the best. If you put crit rate, it's, it doesn't really matter. But it's so going for as defensive as you can while keeping in mind that HP and defense are probably the best ones to go for in general. Obviously, crit res not being a bad idea at all. Now, for global, I have a bit of different variants. We switched over to JP because of the fact I want to show future teams. Also, now... For this one, right, it's just mono blue, which lets Charlotte silence the skill too, while also Noelle is going to be applying all her debuffs. So they're going to, some the DPSs, if there's no Mars, are going to have three debuffs on them turn one. And then William's going to be able to combo, which, by the way, remember the 40% defense penetration, and then Noelle's 30% damage increase with Julius, just ka-chow, you're done, you're done, right? Charlotte's going to be there for extra damage reduction, either applying counters, all attack increase with the total defense, and all of that is going to be very, very good. Um, this team is pretty toxic. I've been having fun with it on Global, honestly. I've been using this team. Um, I think these three are max dupe. These three are max dupe. Not by Noel, but she has max dupe skill page. So, you know, very fun team. I'm enjoying it a lot. Now, this one is one of the team variants alongside the, uh, this, right? These are, the, or where is it? Am I? These are the two team variants that you will be seeing being with either Mario or Julius, okay? And obviously both of them with... Uh, with William, right? Where, I mean, I've already sold these teams where basically you use Noel for the extra damage and then Mario has an AoE combo which does 980, how much was it? Let me just uh, let you, let me just see. 89% AoE damage. So everyone's taking 89%, having a burn applied, then William's gonna go crazy still, right? So it's a lot of damage being dished out. And then you have the damage reduction still from Charlotte, which does work very well. Now, even at that, you could run a full full mono blue team right here too in more of the jp side where if you want to put luck instead for the counters he's going to have constantly 90 percent damage reduction because when a uh, when a counter is on him he gets 70 percent at dupe two, 70 percent damage reduction and i mean yeah i mean this is like essentially how you would want to run it you could obviously make little changes where you could also put where is it you could also put if i could find them um you know the this guy you just you could put him with William, turn one, get the absolute silence on someone, and then you know also could silence someone else on his turn, which could be an interesting form for you to play in, right? I think that one also could work pretty well. That's also not to say you might want to just put Mars with William if there's no other speedy unit, and then you know have Julius here, and you know have some type of team like this because William, obviously, a lot more of you guys are gonna have William duped out than the others, right? So this is another form that you could actually play this in. But remember, Max Duke Black Asta has stun block turn one, so there's not really a point to using this anymore at all. And also, soon enough, right, this team, let me just fix it up a bit. This team is going to be meta viable, where it's going to be William, Julius, Charlotte, and then also Vanessa. You're going to make Julius the slowest, put him in the fourth slot, so you're going to have it like this. And then he's going to get protection for two turns. You cannot attack Julius, even if you uh, combo, right? Because usually, right, even if you're taunted, even let's say the enemy Julius is taunted, if he combos with William or he co if, if Julius combos, he could still target Julius and kill Julius. But with this team, you just can't target Julius at all. All okay, so that is a pretty big thing when you really think about it, right? So these are all some team comps that you could really just kind of use to your advantage. There's probably some more, right? I'm not saying there's not. If you want to pull Lotus, right? There's so many units. Anyone who has a good combo is good with uh, with William, but you also got to consider they have to usually be a DPS because that's how you make use of William the most. If it's someone, if it's more for support, Charlotte is not a bad idea, but obviously season five Charlotte's going to be out soon. So that is quite important to know. I think in like 26 days, we're getting this unit, game changing unit, right? Game changing. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.